Welcome back to another video on the Lone Fox YouTube channel. This one is super exciting because I've been waiting to share this video and start this makeover with you guys for probably like a year and a half. Ever since purchasing this house back in July of 2022, I've been waiting to make over my own bedroom. I will say right now that the lighting in my bedroom was a huge factor when purchasing a home. So I wanted to make sure that my bedroom, of course, had great lighting. And that is one of the reasons I purchased this space because the bedroom really did have such beautiful lighting. A majority of the windows actually fit the sunset so in the morning time it gets nice bright light and throughout the entire day it honestly does I'm just beyond excited to give this space a little bit more personality a little bit more lone fox and in me injected into the space I have a feeling that this one's going to be a long one and something else I want to mention is I got a new camera I don't know if you guys can tell by this intro quality or anything but I got a brand new camera the first half of this video right after the intro actually was filmed on my older camera and then I got this one mid makeover so I started using it mid makeover and and I just, I think the quality is looking pretty good. So let me know what you guys think in terms of like audio, coloring and all that sort of stuff. The direction of this bedroom, I actually did an entire video on. So if you want to find the card somewhere linked, I'll pop it up on the screen for you. If you want to watch how I mood boarded this entire space out prior to the design, because it really does take on a lot of the mood boards kind of aesthetic and design that I did, definitely watch that video. And the last thing before jumping in, I just want to do a little shameless self promo, but we are having a really incredible sale on art prints over on LoneFox.com. We have over 600 different oil paintings, uh, sketchings that are then printed into an art print on this really thick cardstock, and they're just stunning. So if you need like an affordable art option, we're having 20% off of all of our art prints right now, and you don't even have to have a code for that. You just add it to your cart. The 20% is automatically applied in carts. Grab some prints while you can. And let's go ahead and dive on into this makeover. All right, so here we are entering my bedroom and I absolutely love my bedroom so much. It gets so much light. The sun actually rises on this side. So it's just a really nice space to be in. These are all of the windows that just finally got redone. If you could see underneath, look at all of that drywall. An entire situation that honestly, we need to completely just let go of and forget it even happened. So once we paint these windows back, they should look like this one over here. That's kind of like painted as you can see. But this is a little look from the opposite direction direction of how it looks. I have my bed in here, which is definitely going to be staying. We have quite a bit to work on and I want to share with you guys the paint idea. I was just setting everything up to share with you guys the paint situation, but I got a response on Facebook Marketplace. Look at this that I found. And I actually ended up turning this into its own entire video of transforming this hutch into a piece for my bedroom, which we completely painted. I did not want to have to strip this, but the color was just a little too minty for my preference. I shared a bunch of really great DIY distressing techniques and just how to get that primitive antique look on your furniture. It was really great. And then we spent the rest of the day actually patching the holes in that drywall that I shared. We are going to start painting today. For the painting in here, if you watch the mood board video, I actually have a full photo, which I'll share with you right here. This was kind of an inspo. I love how the ceiling was a different color. I love the lines. So I think I want to create a similar look with uh, some different colors though. You're going to go in with some tape. I have a laser level on a C stand right here. And this just allows us to get all the way up as high as we possibly can to then tape off our line. For this first section that we're taping off, I'm using some frog tape to do this, and then I'm gonna be taking down this chandelier. This is the chandelier that got appraised for $15,000, if you guys remember. I don't know where in the world anyone's gonna buy this for 15K, but I hung it up in the closet for the time being because I had nowhere to put it, and then we finally got to painting the ceiling. I completely lost the clip, I don't know what happened to it, of pouring the paint and sharing the color, but this color is called Peristyle Brass. It's from the historic selection from Sherwin-Williams, their interior colors and I love it. It kind of has a shift between a golden yellow and a pale chartreuse green color. It just, it's really, really beautiful and you'll see it once it kind of starts to dry and we add more coats. Oh, I haven't seen anything. Yeah. I am so happy with the color in here. Just woke up and had to film a clip of how it looked. I love it so much. It's such a great 
colors here is actually more of a better representation. And it's one of those cool colors that sort of shifts throughout the day. So it kind of goes from like a chartreuse -y, mossy green color to more of a mustardy golden yellow. That's so pretty. The inside of this red door will always be red when it's open, which I think is a super cool contrast with this. We are going to go in with the stripe detailing, which I have been wanting to do in here. And I'm doing those in a dark navy blue, which I think will be so nice when the doors open, which is primarily always is. It can be open with the blue stripes. They're going to be super subtle like this. So just kind of like a dark tonal stripe. And then we're going to have the curtains over here. Look at that color. I love it. It is just so like cheerful, still subdued at the same time. Like it's not overpowering. Tone at night is so warm. It's so cozy in here. It just felt like a different room last night. So loving the direction. We are going to start working on the stripes. So for our first piece of tape, I'm actually going to be applying this on top of the yellow color. That way, just the tiniest bit of the yellow pops down from underneath that purple tape. And then Justin's coming around and adding a small piece of green tape just around. This is a half inch piece. We're gonna be removing this and this will make up one stripe. This top one here is to mask off the color that we added to the ceiling. This green is gonna be a stripe. Then we're doing a thinner tape. That's going to be kind of the separation between the next stripe, which will be right here. So we're gonna be removing the green tape adding another stripe, removing that one, adding another tape underneath. So it's a lot of taping, but the payoff should definitely be worth it. Hopefully, or so we hope. Honestly though, I think I can do this all day though. I really like lining up the lines. Yeah, it's kind of satisfying. Mm -hmm. Each color of tape is actually a different thickness. So the purple's really thick, and then the green is about an inch wide, and then this masking tape underneath the green is actually doubled up at the moment, and those are only half an inch wide each, and that's going to make it so that the gap between our stripes is half of an inch, and then the bottom stripe itself is half of an inch. So it's a little bit smaller than the top stripe, and then I'm using some yellow tape on the bottom as our seal on the bottom edge. to create the crispiest line ever. You're going to want to take your ceiling color and apply that just on your top border line. And then you're going to take your wall color and apply that on all the other pieces of tape prior to painting your contrast stripe. That way any bleed through is actually going to be the wall color or the ceiling color. And then you can go in with the color you're going to be doing on your stripes, which in my case is railings by Pharaoh and Ball. I used a foam roller and I did two even coats of this all the way around the exterior of my bedroom, just painting on, rolling it around super simple simple and easy, but I just love the way that this stripe looked. The prep is really important to get that really crisp line, but once you do, you're going to be so shocked with the end result. Why hello everyone! We are on a new camera at the moment and the lens I have is kind of closer. It is a new day in the bedroom and we are starting painting the walls. You can kind of see it's already started. That's because while I was working on the windows, Justin actually started a lot of the painting in here. Earlier that same day, I ended up masking off the windows and painting these just with some primer before we went in with the actual paint. Now, I just used some tape as a first base, then went over the top of that with some paper. I used the Ben Zinzer primer, which I'll link this below for you guys. It's my favorite for vinyl windows or just any primer in general. I'm using my old camera here. By the way, I'm still trying to figure out my new camera, so if the audio or anything sounds odd, just give me like one more video to get it right for you guys. I kind of thought that we were going to get away with being able to just keep the wall color in here, which has already been painted once to a color just called Simply White, which is kind of like a streamlined white from Benjamin Moore. But I want to just warm it up a little bit, and I'm actually going to be painting it the color Dimity, which is what you see right here and just like right over here as well. So we are going to start painting these walls basically from where the stripe ended, the underneath of that all the windows and we're like color drenching the entire walls and windows and everything so absolutely everything from doors to trim to baseboards from the line down will be dimity from pharaoh and ball so we have a lot of painting to get to we 
We have 15 minutes to get the second coat on this wall right here, which is where my TV unit is going to be going, which I actually shared the project for in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely watch how we transform this piece because it is a great, really cool DIY, like distressing tutorial on how to make your pieces look like authentic, kind of primitive aged wood. And I'm so excited to bring that up. It's just too heavy for Justin and I to move ourselves. So hired a little bit of help with Lug. If you've never heard of Lug, I love it. This isn't sponsored by them at all. I just love 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 the service and you can actually have them just come to your house and have them help you move things You don't have to have them pick something up and bring it to you They can just help you out around the house if you need to like move some things around and we need to bring up a rug We need to bring up the cabinet and luck is actually an app that you could download on your phone It's really great because you just type in the destination of where you're picking up your item where you want it dropped off at or vice versa It shows you the route and then it gives you a couple truck sizes along with rates that correspond with that truck size So, you know exactly how much you're paying Absolutely stunning this looks in the room. I, this is exactly what I wanted. Like, could you imagine the minty one here? Absolutely not. It just would clash with the ceiling. We have our navy stripes. The yellow paint's gonna come off. Here you can see the change really nicely, actually, with the dimity wall right here. And then this is the simply white wall. It just warms it up a little bit. I'm so happy we got this in, though. It was definitely a bit of a challenge. about to take the tape off. Now I just did two coats around the top edge and I still have to roll two coats on the rest of the walls. The doors have two on them. All right, we're about to mount the TV. Yeah. Like, I just like the noise. Oh my gosh, it's giving media unit. It is. Watch this, so we go from, we want some beautiful like, bookcase vibes like we're about to study it's so great and for three hundred dollars and how we did this you guys have to watch this video because honestly it didn't get that much love so please watch it tape measure down um, for the width of the rug this way and I'm gonna do another one this way so we can kind of eyeball before bringing it in did you tell them that this weighs 180 pounds oh no this rug weighs 180 <laughs> pounds <laughs> My gosh, we have a little bit more to unroll, but we have to get it underneath this furniture piece. Don't know how we're gonna do that, but look how pretty, you guys. I love it. Just got the mattress in and it's starting to feel so much more like a bedroom already. Just gotta do a little touch up right here. We kind of messed up those stripes, so we're gonna fix that. And also, if you guys are in the market for a mattress, Helix, my absolute favorite mattress brand and the only mattress I use in any of my projects, they're having a great discount for Lone Fox family members, which are all of you. So take advantage of it and let me tell you more. If you've never heard of Helix Sleep, then you are in for a treat because these are premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped to your doorstep, which is exactly what I like. They come rolled up in a box like this and immediately it turns into the most comfortable, fluffiest, thickest mattress ever. I absolutely love and adore my Helix mattress. I've had my personal one for over five years. They also offer you free shipping in the US, a 10 year warranty, and flexible payment plans and financing options, which is great because mattresses are definitely an investment purchase. However, they make it super simple to find the one for you with their sleep quiz. You actually just enter a few answers to some questions about you and your personal body type for sleeping and it pairs you up with a 
mattress that's perfect for you. But let's just say you're not absolutely in love with it. They actually offer a 100-day sleep trial. So if it just isn't for you, they'll actually come pick it up. You do not have to put it back in the box at all. So it really is a no-brainer and so easy to try out if you are in the market for a new mattress. Helix are the only mattresses I use in my projects. And honestly, my parents, my brother, my entire family has a Helix mattress and they absolutely love it. And it's the perfect time to get a Helix mattress because they're actually having their Memorial Day early access sale that's running until the 12th. And you can get 30% off an Elite or a Lux mattress, plus two free pillows or take advantage of 25% off the entire website. So definitely check out Helix using the link below for more details. gonna hang some curtains together. I ended up getting some Roman shades from Two Pages, which I also love them for all my curtain panels. Sadly, in the bedrooms, all of the ceilings are coved. Well, not sadly. I'm still able to do Roman shades, but I can't do actual like drapes just because it doesn't work with the ceiling height. The Two Pages Roman Shades are super easy to install. They come with little mounting brackets. You just screw those right into the wall and then you just screw the actual Roman Shade itself onto the mounting bracket. And for the center one here, I just had a couple more braces that I needed to install. So there was five across this entire center one. And the center panel itself is actually a corded panel because they couldn't make them this long in the cordless option, which is totally fine because this window is just massively long. what day we are of this bedroom makeover but all of the little kind of adjusting and fine-tuning we've had to do especially with filling in the wall where it was before painting over it doing all the windows the mullions like the stripe detail this paint job has definitely took in quite longer than just a normal paint job we are to the fun part you guys we are adding all of the decor and all of the fun bits and bobs to this room. So I actually have some incredible, I actually have some incredible nightstands. I got these on major, major sale from CV2 a while back. Love the marble on the top and the wood actually matches these incredible pendants that we're going to be hanging right above. <laughs> I know the nightstand looks rather low and it is a low nightstand, but my bed's really not too tall. I have these incredible pendant lights over a year ago on Facebook Marketplace. I think they were like $35 and had them shipped here and the lady literally just threw them in a box with nothing and shipped them. I was like, okay, I mean, $35 for, you so- You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. <laughs> so we're gonna have these hanging here. I already had the electrical done for this a while back. If you remember this from my mood board, this is also, I got this when I got the nightstands. Oh no, not a Gorgeous, what do you guys think? Ahead. What do you think? Let me, let me take a glance in the camera. Ooh, I like that. I still don't know why the ceiling's green. In person, the ceiling had a very golden look to it, but the Sony camera really adds more of a green tint to the filming, so just keep that in mind. Why hello guys and good morning. I have a feeling today is going to be our last day in here. I got the light up yesterday. I don't know if I actually ended up sharing that with you because I had a mental breakdown trying to screw the little like finishing screw in. It wouldn't go in for honestly 30 minutes. I ended up moving Winston's cage over to this side because it used to be over on this side of my room. However, I have a floor mirror. I did a little trip to Olive Atelier last night. Let me give you guys a haul of what I got actually. I got this really cute stool here, which I want to use as kind of like a side table. I got this little pretty vase, which is glazed. I ended up getting two pieces on the larger side. This one being a really cool, almost floor mirror. I mean, you can see how tall it is compared to me. It's probably like five and a half feet. And one very exciting thing I got was a Willy Goal planter. And I have seen these for a solid, probably year and a half that I've been going to Olive Atelier. Every time I go, I see them. I always tell myself that I want one and I'm just gonna get one one day. And I honestly had a reason to get one because I've had this bottle brush tree. I'll pop up a clip of this in the Willy Gold planter because the house plant, which I'll pop up the tag right here, they kindly came over and replanted my plant for me, which I got this plant from them a long time ago and I wanted to repot it because the previous pot was really small and it's grown like probably like two feet or so since I got it. But hang the lights up on either side of the bed. I want to figure out 
a sitting situation over on this side because I have a lot of space in this room, which I'm super thankful for, but I want to utilize it really well. I'm going to keep the same exact duvet and sheet set that I've had. I love these so much. They're just from Target, actually, Casa Luna. Duvet is actually from Casa Luna, too, um, and I have mine in a king, and I put it on a queen bed, but I actually flip it so it's, like, really long in the opposite direction, and then it just fits really nice sideways length. That's a little tip of mine. It's, like, the buttons will end up being on one side of the bed, but you can just kind of have them folded over the underside. Anyways, this is our bed kind of base. It just has, like, a sheet, a flat sheet, and then my duvet on top, but what is going to make this bed so special is this this absolutely stunning textile that I have saved ever since I did my drop with all the Atelier a long time ago. It is so stunning. I don't know if you guys can see the kind of texture in here. It's just such a nice texture. It's not like scratchy or anything either. I'm going to use this actually kind of as like a bed cover. So I'm gonna put it over my duvet. I'm gonna put my Picasso lithograph that I just am so in love with. You guys, look at this. How cool is this? I got this for $40 at a flea market. I just don't think the person knew what they had. It's just so beautiful. I love the dark frame on this. The striped pillows that match the bedding just felt a little too much, so just doing some neutrals. But I like. I have these two stunning throw pillows. I got these at Pearson Ward. I splurged. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of Pearson Ward and I just wanted something of theirs, so I got these pillows a while back and I've been saving them. Whoa, how did I do that? You <laughs> I don't know how I did that. That was actually like perfect. Then one of the most gorgeous Murano lamps I have ever found in my entire life that I have been saving and I have waited for this moment to share with you because look at this freaking light. I love, have just been so obsessed with glass lately. Something about the material is just like so fun. It just reflects light so beautifully. So I bought this on this little table. We're gonna rewire this later because it's currently um, European wired, but look at that. This is where the floor mirror is going. My closet is here. I think I want to hang a piece of art on my closet because it's just super like stark right there. This is from Lulu and Georgia and Sarah Sherman Samuel. I actually ordered two of them and only ended up putting one in my living room downstairs because I thought both would fit, but they didn't. And I kind of want to stain it. I kind of want to make it dark wood. I don't know. Is that allowed? Like it needs to go right here essentially. And or no, it needs to go right here, actually. I just feel like we have so much room in here, and this is just a ton of rug, and this chair is so petite that I feel like it's cute, but let's stain it, and I think it will match the vibe a bit better. So I'm actually using that same exact product I used to get the distressed finish on the hutch. It's called Brie Wax in the color dark brown, and the great thing about this is you can apply it over the top of a finish to deepen it, so it's perfect for this use. Justin's doing our pendant. Test. Ooh, I think it can go down more. I kind of want to disguise the um, outlet behind it. Yeah, I think like that. Haven't shared my little tape trick in a while where you take a piece of painter's tape, you connect up the two little spots on the back of an art piece or a mirror that you need to hang it on, mark those marks on that piece of tape, and then find the center point of those two marks. Then go to your wall, find the center point of your wall, mark that on the wall, then transfer your tape over and match up the two center point marks. You could screw your screws in and you're good to go. You have a nicely hung up mirror. Oh, that's way better. The mullions are all complete, or muntins, I don't remember. But basically, one side is painted the interior color, one side is painted the exterior color. And what we're gonna do with this is just pop it in the window, like this. And I get mine so close to measurement that it kind of just like pressure fits itself 
in the window. That just gives you a little window pane and makes the window just a bit prettier. So we also have to do that to all of these ones. And if you can see, I already added the diamond detail one to the middle here. It's so hard to share this. The center window here is gonna have that little diamond detail that I mentioned. It's so cute. It just has three diamonds. And then the windows across are just plain grids so that it kind of just flows from one side and meets in the center. It's just a little bit of charm. And I also feel like it looks like it could be original um, because it's, it's not overdone. It's just very kind of understated. I measured a little off on these ones so they're not like pressure fit into the window. So I'm gonna add a little mounting tape on the back side. I found this little crest that actually came in a pack of two. Just added it to the closet door for a little something on it. Did some really simple nightstand styling because I'll probably push it out of the way when I actually need to use some of it. But I just did this really pretty little painted pot, some books that I love, and a bowl that I can put my keys in. And over on this side, I just added some taper candles just for a little pop of red over here, an additional color. And then I added this really great memory box that I have and a book. All right, Winnie. Guess what? It is time to reveal our room, Winston. Are you excited, little boy? <laughs> I'm so excited to reveal my bedroom with you. I absolutely love it so, so much. I, it's just beautiful. I could not be happier. Sadly, it's very cloudy and overcasty today when we're filming because the room really, really shines in the sunlight, but that is totally fine. It still looks beautiful, and I'm gonna reveal it to you guys in three, two, one. Thank you all so so much for watching today's video and I hope that you enjoyed this bedroom transformation. I am just beyond excited to start living in this room. I actually didn't even sleep in it last night which was the first day we had this done because I needed it to look perfect for the final clips today. I actually slept in the guest room so that it can just kind of stay intact as is and I am just so excited to spend tonight in the bedroom and turn on my little nightstand lights and Winnie's gonna be with me. I'm just very very thankful and excited and I love the way this bedroom turned out and I want to thank you guys just so so much for tuning into my videos every single week I know they've been a little bit more few and far between lately on the channel honestly you guys Winston is one of those psychotic puppies like one that you have to watch like a hawk 24 7 and it has just been such an altering thing for me like I never had any sort of commitment before and now Winston is such a huge commitment and I love him so much but it's definitely like an adjustment he's only six months old so I honestly have been putting a lot more time into him than I thought I was going to have to if that makes sense but I'm not complaining at all I just want to give you a little understanding but I'm going to be amping up videos very shortly you guys are going to see very very soon 
soon. So yes, I feel like I've blabbed enough today. I will catch you guys all in my next video. Do not forget to take advantage of 20% off of art prints over on Lone Fox. We have over 600 in varying sizes. There's like six different sizes, so you can get massive ones or like really small ones. I will put the link at the top of the description box below along with Helix's website if you're in the market for a new mattress. Definitely take advantage of the Memorial Day sale. It is probably like one of the best sales of the year. So tap that link below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.